Hey guys, welcome to another video. So as you can probably imagine, we are officially in cycle 22, which feels crazy to say, but yeah. I also have decided I am not going to pay attention to those numbers. It is cycle 22 for like tracking purposes. Other than that, I'm just, I'm, I am done. <laughs> I am not gonna go into more of that. Um, I feel this year, the number one thing I'm doing is being way more intentional in anything I do because I feel that up to now, I allowed situations, emotions to kind of guide the direction my life was taking, the direction in general, like where I was giving more focus, more attention, like, you know, I was kind of zoning in on things that I shouldn't have been zoning in on because I was leaving other things to the side. I want to be a lot more intentional when it comes to TCC, when it comes to me as a mother in general, general like intention in everything that I do. That is the number one thing. And I'm being very intentional about not paying attention to the cycle number. <sighs> I can't really do anything about it. I can't change it. And I am trying to tell myself that when I can't change something, there is no point in like sitting and dwelling on it and being like, oh my gosh, it's been 22 cycles and what am I doing? And there's no point. Not to say that I don't have those kind of thoughts, not to say that it's the easiest thing on the planet. Like you don't just flip a switch and you're like, oh, okay, I don't care now that I'm on cycle 22 or whatever, but I wanna be more intentional about not worrying about it, about not considering it to be the most important thing when it comes to my life and how we're progressing as a family. We do wanna grow our family, but we also enjoy the family we have right now. I'm also unbelievably grateful for the family I have right now. And I'm gonna be way more intentional about how we move forward this year. That is what I have set for 2023. I have a whole bunch of other goals and stuff, but that's another video, I guess. This cycle was, I don't know what was up with the faint lines. Honestly, I think we've come to realize over the course of the past several months that Tests can show up with faint lines. I don't always get them. So it's not like a constant every cycle I have faint lines. I don't know if it means anything. I'm not gonna really go into it. I have realized that tests can show up random faint lines and that doesn't mean anything. In all reality, they're a piece of plastic, man-made. There are bound to be mistakes. No matter what they say, because companies do say that if you see a line, there is something there. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, the faint lines, especially on strip tests, etc. It's why I question them. It's why I use multiple tests. I've said this again and again. I don't know what was up with them. I imagine it was just one of those cycles. You get your hopes up. Hopes get diminished. It's sadly part of TTCing. I don't think anyone can be TTCing and not get their hopes up every cycle because even if you're not seeing faint lines, you're still like symptom spotting. You're still kind of reading into everything that your body's feeling. You're still wondering and thinking and you can't help it. It's you're trying to conceive, you know? So, I, AF showed up in full force on the morning of the first. So cycle day one is on the first of February. I'm literally right on the dot, not a day late, nothing. Just as soon as I woke up, it was right there. So I'm happy that everything is on time because that we, we find the positives in everything we do. That's the main thing. So I'm happy that my cycles are on time. That is a good thing. I am looking forward to seeing what this cycle brings. I am going to, one of the whole intentional things is this. I'm, I choose to enjoy these cycles. I choose to enjoy the process, <laughs> enjoying having fun with the whole thing, like generally having fun and generally working on my relationship per se, because when you're TTCing, the relationship tends to become a baby making relationship kind of like a business partnership so to speak where it's like we need to make a baby so um these are the appointments we need to make this is what we need to do this is the time frame this is what we have like you have a business plan you know it's kind of it, do, you, do you guys get what i mean like it's very it becomes very um it's not as enjoyable it's not as just natural and flowing and fun and like a warm loving relationship and the baby comes of it. It's more like, this is the plan, this is the schedule, let's tick the boxes. <laughs> so you need to focus on that quite a bit. And again, part of the intentional, uh, the sun is deciding to come out, it has been raining all day today. Part of all that is that as well. I wanna make sure that we don't fall into that trap. We have fallen into that trap previously. We kind of like have ups and downs, I would say. 
kind of depending on you know how we go about it how we look at it so changing perspective a lot that's a big part you need to remember that that don't make your relationship only about the TTC especially I feel I've realized as the time goes by and it becomes a process that takes a lot longer than I had anticipated than I thought it would I am realizing that that is something that you really need to work on because when you are TTCing for a year, two years, three, four, who even who even knows at this point. Um, you don't want your relationship to break down during that process. That is not that is not what you're doing. You're trying to grow your family, not ruin it. With that being said, uh, we're moving on to a new cycle. A lot is to be done this cycle in general. So not just cycle like TTC wise, but generally I'm kind of jumping into everything right now. So I think it will be fun. I think it will be interesting to see, you know, I'm, I'm gonna pick up everything, pick up all the balls at this point, start juggling, um, and see what happens. I don't know if I'm focusing on one thing more than another, and who knows? Who knows? We will see how we go. But uh, I'm moving on with positivity. I'm gonna try my best and be very intentional about everything I do moving forward, and who knows? <laughs> who knows? Anyway. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for all your comments. I read every single comment. Sometimes YouTube, for whatever reason, doesn't like show up that I replied or that I liked or hearted it. I don't know why. I do read every single comment. That's that's the basic. <laughs> yes, Sidi there. What's wrong? Okay. You want to say bye bye? Mm -hmm. Say hello. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, you have to go pick up Iki from school, huh? Yes. Yes. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.